Hi guys, in this video, I'll be sharing what I will be doing with my 7th grader for this 2022-2023 school year. Um, now, we actually started school about two weeks ago, but um, this school year, choosing what we were going to do for our curriculum was actually a little bit more difficult than usual. Not necessarily because picking out the books was that difficult, but more so because um, this year in particular, I really wanted to make sure that I was putting more emphasis on the areas that she truly has an interest in but trying to find that balance of you know accommodating for that but at the same time not neglecting the basics and if there are any areas in the basic you know what might be considered basics like reading writing arithmetic arithmetic um, if she has if I'm saying that right if she has any issues in those areas you know trying to make sure that i have those areas covered um so anyway so that's that when i first started this homeschooling journey my goal was just you know i just want to see how far the law will take me year by year so it is kind of crazy to think that we have a seventh grader now um we still have quite a bit to go and i do have two younger ones but um it's still kind of crazy to think that we've gotten to this middle ground but anyway, now let me get into the video. All right, so this year for Bible study, my eldest would be using this Jesus Calling devotional and she would be using this on her own. When we do listen to one of the Bible plans on my Bible app, they would be, you know, coloring in this Bible verse coloring pages book that we've been using for such a long time on and off, but they enjoy using it. Last year, we actually did not use this. We, we did not do this. We just did Bible reading, actual Bible reading. We read a little bit from uh, this Bible book, but I'm moving away from this one and I'll talk about that later. Um, and we used some of the Bible plans on my Bible app. But this year they wanted to, you know, bring the Bible study back into the school because they, I guess they enjoyed that few, that little 15, 20 minutes where they would just listen to the Bible and color and draw. They missed that. So we're bringing that back into the school room on Sunday, some days. And then on other days they will do more personal Bible reading. All right. So this year she doesn't really have a workbook per se, but um, she does like to complete her workbooks. Well, with the exception of math, maybe. <laughs> Um, so she's just going to finish off whatever few random pages it has in these two. Um, she jumps around a lot. So whatever it has in there, she would be completing that this year. All right. So for history, we will be starting Howard Zinn's A Young People's History of the United States. Um, this is one of the books that I will actually be trying to go through with her. So we would be taking our time with this. She would also start U.S. History, People and Events, 1865 to Present, and U.S. History, People and Events, 1607 to 1865, and it's just an activity book, and they are not that thick, both of them. And then she will also be continuing with the U.S. Constitution. She did some of it. Um, she just started it in fourth grade, and she did some more last year in sixth grade. Um, so she is going to do this activity book. This one she'll be trying to complete this year. For history, we would also, well, she would also continue reading from World History and American History by the Big Fat Notebooks. Um, we have most of the books in this series, and she really, really enjoys these. Um, and this, you know, is a staple I recognize in a lot of homeschool homes and definitely is the same for us as well so she would also be using that for history we're keeping it simple for geography this year she is going to be completing whatever few pages she has left in this workbook um but our main source for geography this year is going to be crash course geography on youtube they have i think they have crash course um history crash course I think it's astronomy but she really enjoys the crash course geography so that's going to be our main source for geography and whatever few pages it has here in this workbook all right so for science we are going to be starting this orange set from god's design this is properties of ecosystems properties of atoms and molecules and properties of matter 
and wherever we leave off this year god's prayer we will just continue with it in the eighth grade last year she did the red set which was energy technology and machines and motions i believe it is um and earlier on we did the green set which was the plants animals and the human body the green set i'm actually doing animals with my younger two we did the plants already and we're almost finished with animals so she is sort of getting a refresher on on that and um, we are going through it slowly and we're using it um a lot of times i do it at night um but anyway um, i'll talk about that in their video but this is what i'm doing with her as a main science curriculum and as extra reading she has this middle grade school book um biology school book that i picked up from the thrift store she actually read through it already just a fun little biology book really simple take on it and currently she's reading through everything you need to ace biology and that's all she's doing she's just reading through it because she learns pretty well through reading so that's what we're going to be doing for biology now i am going to be adding a notebook because there are there are a couple of things that i want us to kind of draw that i think might be fun and that's what we're going to be using that notebook for but that's what science looks um is going to be looking like this year all right so for math we are going to be sticking with matthew c and we are doing zeta and zeta is actually the last book um in their general math series and then after that you move on to what's called secondary math starting with pre-algebra now i did for a very small moment consider switching to um teaching textbooks even though most people who switch make make that switch during the the third grade but honestly matthew c really does work i was um i only considered it as a means to an end because i need to make sure that i have a lot of free time to work on some areas that i need to work with with one of my younger kids but we decided we're going to stick with math stick with math you see because it works really well for them um i would not say this is necessarily her favorite subject but she would tell you that she may not like math but she understands math with math you see and that is good enough for me so we are going to be sticking with this and probably reconsider i'm not too sure of course but reconsider when she's finished with zeta all right for spelling we are going to be continuing with all about spelling we just did not move as fast this year with spelling it's just one of those things um but we're just going to pick up from where we left off with spelling um on her own she's a pretty strong speller so i'm not like necessarily concerned so we're going to continue with book six and if we're finished with this then we are going to move on to book seven we've been doing this from the beginning and i would say that in the early years this can be very involved like when they're now learning the system and if they're now learning the rules for spelling but when they get a little bit more independent you can set it up in a way where they can you know basically do a lot of this on their own so anyway this is what we're going to be doing for spelling all right so for reading comprehension this year we are going to be using evan moore's daily reading comprehension grade seven now for this grade seven book i did read on amazon i read some of the views reviews sorry and a few moms i am assuming said that or guardians said that they found that this book was a little bit easy for grade seven so but we have not used this as yet so i'm not 100 percent sure however you know i do have the grade eight to this as well um now the way how she's going to be using this together with this reading detective reading comprehension from the critical thinking company is that she's going to be jumping around she's not going to be trying to cover cover you know go through it from cover to cover but she's just going to pick an activity based on how she feels because that's she really likes working like that where she can choose something that she feels like doing and it kind of makes her feel like she has you know choices and it keeps that interest up so that's how we're going to be using this and if a lot of this turns out to be easy then i'm just going to bring the eighth grade version that's on the shelf there and just bring it in to like put it into her drawer as well um i want to thank the person that recommended this the um the, th the critical thinking company sorry last year to me in one of my videos because i actually um 
ended up getting quite a few things from them because that seemed really really interesting but anyway so that's what we're going to be doing for reading comprehension all right so for grammar this year we are going to be using fix it grammar i spent quite a bit of time trying to research on which grammar curriculum i wanted to go with this year um, firstly because I needed something that was a little bit more challenging for her last year she did easy grammar grade 6 and she was finished with that before half of the school year was finished um, so I didn't you know add anything extra I just you know had to do other stuff and spend that time looking into a new grammar curriculum one something that would be a little bit more challenging for her because this is one of her you know strongest suits you know the language arts so I wanted something that was a little bit more challenging for her, but also I really needed to get something else that would work better for my, my younger two. The first language lessons, I was able to just follow that curriculum step by step and you know it really helped me to help her with grammar however based on how she learns but because of how my younger two learns both of them learning you know quite differently from my for my eldest um i really do need something else so i you know i spent the time and i printed out some of their samples earlier on and i went through some of the exercises in there this is the level three and the level one and i believe i have the level four as well um and i think it it should do you know a pretty good job so i'm really keeping my fingers crossed so anyway so we are going to be starting with the level three this is the student book and the teacher's book now one thing that i really like about this is that it has vocabulary built in and as i was saying earlier on in the video as much as possible i wanted to you know take out anything that i probably don't need you know like to add a whole extra you know load onto her so that she can focus on areas that she really she really is interested in um and vocabulary would be one of those since you know she has a you know she does well with vocabulary because of the amount of reading that she does but this book has vocabulary built in so that is really nice that's also why i like the evan moore um i think it's daily higher order thinking she is finished with that series now um and i i had started it with my younger two and i'd stopped but I think this year we're going to pick that up and just move through wherever they're at. Just move through it slowly because I really like that series as well. But anyway, we're talking about grammar. <laughs> so we're going to be doing Fix It Grammar Level 3. Um, and if this one happens to be, you know, not like too easy for her, I'm, I'm hoping we just follow this through and just move to the level 4. But if not, I do have the level 4. But it all depends on her pace and where she feels she's comfortable at. That's where we are going to start. And I'm also adding this daily paragraph editing grade seven. She's not in, she doesn't have to finish this from cover to cover. A lot of these ever more books that she does that I like, I allow her to just, well, not allow her. That's what she likes to do. You know, just jump around and pick whatever activity that she wants to do. And, you know, it's not intended that she finishes every single, you know, like exercise or whatever. So anyway, so that's what she's going to be doing for grammar. All right, so for literature, I have this little activity book here by Great Works Instructional Guides for Literature that I am going to be doing with her as like something fun to do. This Out of My Mind is one of her favorite books. So I am actually listening to it on Audible. I'm about halfway through. So when I, whenever I am finished listening, listening to it, um, you know, during, you know, like doing chores and stuff, I'm going to sit down and do this with her. So this is this um this series. You can find tons and tons of these little activity books based on popular books on Amazon. Like it's endless. If you have a book that your child really likes and you want to try one of these out, just search it out and it just might have one. Um, I I have not used it yet. I don't know if it's difficult, easy or not. But I thought that it would still be something fun to do, as I said, because this is a book that she really enjoyed. Um, now I have this um, signatures by Hardcourt here treasures I think it's right hidden treasures is what it's called and I'm not we may try and read like some stories from this as well because there are some interesting stories in here and it's broken down into like different categories content meeting challenges ancient civilizations celebrating differences turning points masterpieces 
confronting sorry nature right so anyway we might attempt to go through a few of the stories in here as well and the only assigned book i have for her for you know like reading literate literature this year is jacqueline woodson's um brown girl dreaming and that's because we are going to be utilizing the library um during this first school like this first first quarter not sure for the rest of the school term because last year we did it for the last quarter and then i took a break during summer and we resumed last week so i know for this quarter we're going to be going to the library a lot so i didn't want to add too many readers plus this year i discovered that um since i don't have that experience of reading a lot of the novels here what has worked out much better with regards to purchasing books to add to their library as opposed to just buying books and then they don't like it is actually going to the library and if it is they discover series or books that they like you know i will just go ahead and buy the rest of the series i actually got a couple books well for my one of my kids who reading is just not her thing but that she actually likes and reads that way so anyway so that's what we are going to be doing for you know literature and reading this year all right so for writing this year we are going to be sticking with writing rhetoric she really likes this curriculum and use words like i am excited to do writing <laughs> not the same completely different you know take with writing compared to when it's time to do math but anyway, um, so we are going to be sticking with writing rhetoric for her. Now, I, not her, I was tempted to try IEW's um, writing more so because I was thinking about my younger two as well. And the thought of having someone else probably helped me out with teaching writing. Um, but for now, I decided that I am going to just stick with writing with ease up until at least level three. Um, you know, when we're finished with level three, I would reconsider from you know that point god's fair but we are going to be sticking with writing rhetoric she we still have some of the book three to do um we finished the book two and then we are going to move on to the book four so that's where we're at with writing i do writing with her on mondays and wednesdays so on tuesdays and thursdays she will do a little bit of these this building writing skills by the critical thinking company just a little bit at a time at her own pace um there are three books in this series so she's using the level two the level one i'm probably going to try with my fourth my um my nine year old and she's also going to now this is a couple grades lower but that's okay she's been doing this on and off very very slowly you know like she'll just pick a page so i'm you know not going to buy another one she's just going to pick up and continue with this and she wanted a cursive book she actually writes likes writing in cursive on her own not by request um see if i can find here and she wanted something that will enable her to practice her cursive handwriting so this is for her to use at her own time at her own pace at her own leisure so that's what we are going to be doing for writing this year and um, with regards to IEW another reason why I decided not to go ahead and pull the trigger on IEW is um, I wasn't certain as to how much time would be required you know of me to you know like set it up and get it going since I, I would be totally new to the system and because of where she's at you know in her schooling and because of the other areas that i'm having issues with with my younger two i just didn't know if i would be able to you know like dedicate or if there would just be enough time to do it plus i am still doing reading all about reading and all about spelling with my younger two and those you know i i they're very much um you know like teacher or parent involved and at this stage i am still very involved with both of them using those two curriculums because of where they're at so i had to take all of that into consideration and in the end i decided to stick with writing rhetoric but she is happy with that and we are going to continue with writing with ease for the younger ones all right so for her elective she is going to stick mostly with her two you know passions at this period um she's been doing it for a couple of years her coding and her drawing so that is going to cover for her electives 
um, and we're just going to continue to pour into those since she is doing pretty well in both of them um, now for health and nutrition based because my husband and I have made some changes to our lifestyle um, health and nutrition is just a natural conversation that has been going on in our home now serving sizes energy sources and all of the stuff um, has been going on in our home so she is learning a lot of that like just naturally just because it's just that season for us in our home um, now music wise I don't know I mean I played a little bit of guitar when I was younger but not enough that I can teach her but we did buy a keyboard a couple years ago since um anyway we did buy a keyboard um a little a few years ago and they had interest at the beginning they lost interest she picked it back up in fourth grade and then you know it, it's just been there um but I do have the app simply piano um, so I am just going to make it available as an option I'm not necessarily going to force her to do it but it is going to be an option because I do understand the benefits that she will gain if it is she's able to add you know like some music into there especially since she is so much into like her art and coding already you know the music will just be you know just an addition onto that so that is something that I'm hoping that you know with her having something that can actually teach her her, um you know see how that will go um with music and uh, just as a side thing not in any structured way they will be sewing a little bit with me this year but anyway so that kind of covers the whole electives um stuff um from what i understand electives is just that it's just an option um i didn't i just tried to look at what it is they were already or what she was already doing what she already had interest in and kind of you know put that as her electives as opposed to trying to add new things that would be like totally new to her if that makes sense anyway um if you watch the video up until this point thank you very much for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask them below and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible um anyway thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in another video bye